crazy that it's already August. Um, in some ways, um, I really, it still feels to me like it's March 13th, which was the last day of school for kids in Charlottesville and Albemarle and at our preschool. Um, and I know I speak for many of you out there as a parent, as a teacher, felt in a state of limbo for the past, what has it been, four or five months now? Um, I have been anxiously and nervously waiting um, to hear um, what's going to happen with schools this fall. Um, you know, this, this pandemic has turned everyone upside down. And as parents and as educators, we worry for not only our children, but the kids that we work with. Um, and we miss them and it's been really hard. And so waiting um, and waiting and waiting to find out what's gonna happen this school year has been hard. Um, and this past week has finally given us some clarity. Um, Schools in Albemarle County and the city of Charlottesville are going to be starting, at least for the first part of the year, completely virtually. And our preschool and all of that will remain closed um, until at the earliest January of 2021. And, you know, these announcements, um, gosh, they, while they give me so much relief to finally have a plan in place, um, we finally know, you know, what's going to be happening in the next couple months. It's also really sad as a teacher. It's really sad that we're not going to see our students. As a parent, I feel sad for my children that they won't be going to school, that they won't be seeing their friends, that they'll be learning in a completely different way. For my, for the teachers out there, I, I just, I can't imagine the gargantuan task that the, they have before them to make school fun, to make school relevant, to make school work in this situation. It's, it's a thankless job and I, um, I pray for them. Um, and to that end, I'd like to share something that I found online this week from a blogger that I follow. And she's an author and a blogger named Liz Patrone. Um, and it touches on all those things um, that I feel we need to keep in our hearts right now for kids, for teachers, for families, for parents. Um, and she calls it the Corona school year Beatitudes. I'd like to share it with you now. Blessed are the teachers for they are being asked to teach in the classroom while also teaching virtually, while also handling children who haven't had a semblance of normalcy in six months, while also risking their own lives, while also juggling balls that are on fire while underpaid and blindfolded. Blessed are the families, for they shall have to choose the least sucky choice between choices that all suck, real, real bad. Blessed are they who make the plans, for they shall be condemned publicly by every jerk with an internet connection and a subpar grasp of the rules of grammar and human decency. Blessed are the janitors, for we all know how hard it is to clean up after our own kids. And this is like that, except times 100. And if they miss a spot, people might die. Blessed are the school nurses, for they shall have offices full of kids who don't know if their cough means they have a harmless cold or a scary virus. Blessed are the working parents for they shall stretch themselves thinner than ever to try to get it all done, all while feeling like they have failed in every way possible. Blessed are the stay-at-home parents, for they shall wear so many hats their heads will be too heavy to hold, all while feeling like they have failed in every way possible. Blessed are the homeschoolers, for they shall take on all the responsibility during a global, global pandemic, when even small responsibilities feel overwhelming and getting through the day should be considered a victory. And blessed are the children, for they are loved enough for us to do all of this, even when we don't know how we are going to do it. Thank you, stay safe, friends. <laughs>